Okay, we're talking with Paul Bowden, who is the director of the Western Regional Advocacy Project, and he's going to uh, explain this art piece that um, was part of the Hobos to Street People show in San Francisco recently, and in the next three years is traveling across the state. So, would you explain this, the connection well, here? Yeah, and actually this poster was done um, by the San Francisco Print Collective, um, and it was part of a campaign that was back in like 2004. Um, you know, they, the criminalization of homeless people has been going on for a long time. Um, the imagery of, you know, we can fight back. How many of us do we need to fight back? You know, the, the gun imagery and the, the, you know, is a symbol of power. Obviously, no one's going to try to get into a military conflict with the United States government. At least no groups of homeless people are. Um, they may be homeless, but we certainly ain't stupid. So, you know, the, the idea behind it was how do we project to homeless people that when there's enough of us that come together and decide it's time to fight back, that we can do that, and that it's been done before, and it's, it's our right, it's, it's also our responsibility. Uh, fight, and fight back to being you. able to let homeless people know that they're not alone. You know, when there, there's, there's three million people a year in this country that are homeless. It isn't about our DNA. It isn't about our makeup. It's about our income levels. In some cases, it's about our disabilities. In other cases, it's about our color. Um, but the bottom line is it's not a DNA. It's not in our blood to just decide to all of a sudden become a pain in the ass to everybody else and be sleeping out on the street. It's and because we don't have houses. Well, and it, it, but, it, but it is reinforced constantly by all other forms of media even by some well-intended media. I mean, you look at the St. Vincent de Paul advertising, help us help others. You look at, at help us get the homeless to fit back into society. You look at the issues that are raging in the streets today, people sleeping in doorways, urinating, defecating, them from somewhere else, give them a bus ticket, give them life skills training, you know, get them to fit back in too, as if we had choicefully fallen out or as if we were so dysfunctional that millions of us a year suddenly fell out of our housing and decided to become homeless. That tells us it's time for us to fight back. Mm -hmm. Because if it's three million people, it's not about the individual anymore. When it's people in rural communities, when it's people in urban communities, when it's white, black, Latino, Asian, when it's Native Americans who have been getting screwed over for even longer than homeless people, you know, it's about human rights. It's not about what did I do wrong. And we can, when we decide that we've had enough and we ain't going to take it anymore, and we have the power to fight back, we can change it. And we have to lead that campaign, but we certainly can't do it alone. And so you use imagery. You go back in the days of the revolution and you show that there's a revolution context. You go back to the days of the 1930s and you show that there was a WPA and there was a creating affordable housing programs. You know, you show that when people demanded and when enough people got together and said, you know what, we are going to vote. The hell with what you're telling us. The hell with what you're saying and your dominant position in society. No government, you're going to change and you're going to respect us as human beings. Homeless people are in that same boat, and they better come together, and they better do it with peace, and they better do it with respect of each other and respect for the rest of the community. And when you give respect, you demand respect. When you demand change, you get it. And it's the only way you get it. Now, like I've, like I've, the man said, yeah. power concedes nothing except power. Now, I've talked to a lot of homeless people for the last 10 years in San Francisco, and they're, for the most part, extremely peace-loving people. Very rarely has anyone ever been violent, I think. Um, and this this uh, was this poster was kind of, the Chronicle did a thing where it sort of stereotyped this as if homeless people are all going to arise with guns. And yeah, this well, is a complete stereotype. There, well, and there was, a, there was a campaign years ago when I was just coming up off the street in the mid-'80s um, around the issue of, and, and an issue that's grown, around the beatings and the killings of homeless people. And the whole campaign was called Arm the Homeless. And it scared the hell out of the mainstream. 
You know, the homeless people ourselves kind of like laughed at it and said, yeah, that'd be cool, and put up the bumper stickers and, 